Be the Bee, Challenging the Limits. For a long time, there was a claim that according to classical physics, a bee should not be able to fly. Early aerodynamic calculations, based on fixed-wing aircraft models, suggested that the bee's wings were too small and its body too heavy to generate enough lift. If you applied airplane physics directly, the numbers did not add up. By those rules, flight was impossible. But the bee flies anyway. Not because physics is wrong, but because the model was incomplete. Unlike airplanes, bees do not glide on steady wings. They flap their wings rapidly, rotate them at sharp angles, and create tiny swirling air vortices that generate lift in a completely different way. Modern fluid dynamics explains this clearly now. The bee was never breaking the laws of physics. It was operating by a deeper version of them. But here is the part that matters. The bee never waited for validation. It never asked whether it should be possible. It never paused to calculate odds. It moved its wings, and the sky responded. Many people live trapped inside outdated equations. They are told what should work, what makes sense, what is realistic. And when they do not fit those models, they assume the problem is them. The bee teaches a quieter lesson. You do not need to argue with every limitation placed on you. You do not need permission from someone else's understanding. You are not failing because you cannot fly. You are failing because you are using the wrong model of yourself. Physics did not stop the bee. Doubt did not stop the bee. Opinion did not stop the bee. It did not care what the equations predicted. It moved and discovered what was possible only after leaving the ground. Be the bee.